Yo, what up? It's the blog mama coming to y'all like I know how, man. Listen up, today we, we talking about, you know what I mean, the top 500 and my discrepancies with it. Let me just show y'all the magazine, the issue, you know what I'm saying? The top 500 greatest uh, NBA players of all time. Check it out, check it out. Number one, should be no issue. No one should complain. He's number one. All right, but yo, all right. Jordan's one. We, we, everyone knows that. Let me just uh, let y'all know how, how the top five goes. And I really don't have a too much problem with it. All right. Let me. So Jordan's one. Okay. Obviously, Mike is one. He's number one. He's number one. There should be no discrepancies with that. Will Chamberlain's two. Bill Russell's three. Shaq's four. And the big O is five. I do have a little discrepancy with that. I think Shaq should be number three over Bill Russell. Just because the simple fact that nobody in the history of the NBA would have been able to stop Shaq. Will, Bill, Kareem, any George Mikan, any big center, they wouldn't be able to stop Shaq. Dwight Howard, none of them. Nobody, not one person would be able to stop Shaq. All right, um, just to do the top 10 here. Let me finish out the top 10, then I'm gonna get on to you know, my first discrepancy. Number six, we got Magic, respectfully so. Kareem at seven, Tim Duncan at eight, Larry Bird at nine, Kobe at 10. I don't have a problem with those, okay? The, my first problem is number 27, and number 31. Number 27 is Scottie Pippen. Number 31 is LeBron James. Okay, I, I, I'm a Bulls fan. I, I love Pippen. You know, LeBron's, you know, we're the same age. He's a great player. I think LeBron right now is, it should be higher than Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen has six rings, rightfully, rightfully so. He, and he was, he's definitely a top 50. That, that's not what I'm saying at all. I just think LeBron, I'm saying right now is, is, is a better basketball player, you know, has, you know, has done more for the game than, than Pippen. LeBron led a team, you know, a sorry team at that in Cleveland. He, and, and he also has two MVPs. Two. Scotty, zero. When Scotty had a chance to lead a team, nothing came of it. He wasn't the MVP of the league. None of that. When he left Jordan, yes, he, he was older and stuff, but... He, he never did anything. I, I, it's hard for me to say that, you know what, LeBron James' career, even right now, let's t t today, that Pippen is better than LeBron. Like, really? I, that, that's, that's, you know, I mean, they even got, you know, Kevin McHale, Kevin McHale over, over LeBron. I mean, I, I don't really have a problem. I mean, I have a problem with that. I mean, Kevin Hills, he's great or something, but I'm saying, like, it, it maybe because LeBron's not done playing, but LeBron was the man of, of his team. Pippen never was. Mikhail was never the guy. Like, how can you put those guys over LeBron? Only thing that, you know, that they got over LeBron is multiple rings. Kevin Mikhail, does he have an MVP? No. So it, it's hard for me to... You know, go on with that. My second discrepancy is Gary Payton and Allen Iverson. Gary Payton is number 39, AI is, is 40. So they're, they're close. Half. I've, to me, they're not, it's not even close. Allen Iverson, scoring champion, multiple times. Okay, Gary Payton, def uh, defensive uh, team, multiple times. Gary Payton does have a ring at the end of his career, you know, with the Heat. Iverson doesn't have a ring. He has an MVP. 
it, it's hard for me to say so, that the person that was the best in the NBA, the best player, that someone else that wasn't the best is, is higher than him. That's my second discrepancy. I, I don't really need to, I don't want to go on that too much. I mean, because they are so close, 39 and 40, but it's like, wow. Like, Iverson, to me, definitely should be higher than Gary Payton. All right. Another discrepancy I, I have. Not necessarily, it's Dwayne Wade. He, they got him as a top 50 player in the league right now. I don't have a discrepancy with that. I have a discrepancy with who he's over. That he's over, and it, it is 50, and these are close again. He, it's 50, it's Steve Nash. Steve Nash is 50, top 50. He's the 50th player. Like, like and it goes back to, to, to that, that, that school of thought, I think. Wade ha doesn't have an MVP. Nash has two. He has a finals MVP. Yes, he, he's been to the finals once. Nash, you know, he, he's never, he's never been. You know, but he's, but he's, he also, he's got two MVPs and was going for a third one at the time. And, and Dwayne Wade's better than him. I, I'm not going to go on that too much again because it's, it's 49 and 50, but it's like, yo, man, Steve Nash won two MVPs. Dwayne Wade, now that he's got LeBron on his team, he'll never win an MVP. Never, ever. He'll never win one. All right, the next one I got, Paul Pierce, all right? No, he doesn't have, you know, you know, super, super awesome numbers. They got him at 77. And I, to me, that's way too low for Paul Pierce because, you know, people are just thinking about the Celtics from 2005. If you're a real basketball fan, you, you knew about Paul Pierce when he came in the league and the type of team he had. You know, he, he was still doing the same thing. Now he's just on a better team, and that's why, you know, I think they got him at 77. I, I Honestly, I think, you know, Paul Pierce, if, 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 if I'm, you know, I, I don't know if I'm being any type of bias or anything like that, but he probably could be higher than Dwayne Wade. And in mind you, I said, I, I, I'm not disputing that Dwayne Wade is a top 50 player. I'm not going to say that. But I think there's other players, like I said, that I would put ahead of them. Nash, Paul Pierce. That's, that's just my opinion. One of the things that I hate that they did about this magazine was number 123 and 124. I'm gonna start with 124. Chauncey Billups is at 124. Don't have a problem with, that, with his seating. What I have a problem with is they have someone, his teammate, better than him. It's not Rashid, it, it, it's, it's not Tayshawn, and it's not Rip. They got Ben Wallace at 123 over Chauncey Billups. Really? That's it, that's all I'm saying to that. Because that, to me, that, that, even, that shouldn't even be there at all. All right, let me, let me just say this real quick. There's uh, people that, you know, are on this list and aren't on it yet that I think, you know, should be. Like, I think, um, you know, one of the first guys I thought about was Monte Ellis. He's, a, he's, a, he's on this list, but I think he's like in the 300s or something like that. I'm saying this, Monte Ellis, when the next volume comes out, to me, should crack the 200, top 200. Um, the other people that are going to be on this uh, list when the next volume comes out, Blake Griffin. I think he should crack the top 200. I'm just, I may, I, I like Blake a lot. I think he should crack the top 200. Uh, Rajon Rondo, I think he should crack the top 150. Derrick Rose, I think he should crack the top 150. Kevin Durant is definitely going to crack the top 100. And he, these are guys that are, are not, not on his list, except for Monte Ellis. All these guys I'm saying now aren't on his, on his list. KD is going to crack the top 100, I believe. Russell Westbrook should crack the top 300. Tyreek Evans should crack the top 350. John Wall, I think he should crack the top 400. I don't think, you know, John Wall, I mean, he's, I mean, he's a great player, but I don't think he should crack the, 
top 350. I, you know, he's the, to me on the, the list I just said, he's, you know, the, the worst player up there. But, yo, um, follow me on Twitter at Blog Mama. Let me know what y'all think. Always remember the GGT. Give y'all thanks. One.